YB stays on your neck. <laughs> Congratulations to Andy Ruiz. He has six months or so to be champion because the belts go in the air and he's going to have to defend his title against myself. Make him move, can't keep working. Didn't go too well on the ring yet. Oh, what can I say? It's all inherently for my time. <laughs>
But then Joshua explains himself and says, Oh, because the belts go in the air and he has to defend his title against myself. Essentially saying, oh, it's 50-50. Essentially saying, oh, the belts, the belts are anyone's. No, they're yours. That's what I feel Joshua's been missing this whole time. Which also explains why in the weigh-in day before the fight, the day before we all watched that shocking performance, AJ was giving the belts out and whatnot. I just don't, I don't believe, I'm not sure if he believes or knows they're his. Yeah? That should be the bottom line. Yeah, you've lost. That's in the past now. We can't change that at all. But going forward, you can say, listen, I've understood now. Them belts are mine. There's none of this There's none of this going up in the air business. There's none of this, oh, he's got to defend his title against me. There's two things that are going to happen on that night. Number one, he has six months before he gets his ass whooped and I'll take my belts back. That's what I'm thinking. Now, you can all say, oh, well, he's humble. Oh, well, this, uh, I don't care. That's what he should be thinking. Should he not? I just don't believe, I don't care what no one says, I don't believe this, this, it's almost like he's taking the pressure off himself about, oh, well, the belts go in the air, and he has to defend his title against myself. No, you're, you're the badder man, yeah, you're the boss man, but I, I feel it's about time people should know that, if not yourself, or I, I believe Joshua believes it himself, but the public needs to start knowing that, we need to start knowing that, after that kind of performance, your peoples need to understand what you're thinking. We, we're not interested in hearing, oh, well, the belts go in the air and, oh, Ruiz has to defend his title against me. We want to hear that they're your belts and he's got six months. That's the bottom line. The bottom line is he has six months until I'm taking my belts back. And with it, not only am I going to take the belts, I'm taking his conscience clean out of his head as well. There's two things. That, listen, what we do know is there's two things that will be leaving Andy Ruiz in November slash December. Number one, it will be his consciousness. Which he may or may not regain. Number two will be his belts. Which he will not regain. That's that. That's what Joshua, in my opinion, should be saying. None of this, oh well, um, he's got six months to be, he's got six months and um, oh yeah, and at that point the belts go in the air. And explaining himself, who gives a f about where the belts go? They sh all that you should be thinking about is them belts coming back to you, not in the air. Not, oh, he's got to defend his title. Defend his title against you, they're your damn belts. It's your damn title. That's, that's the only, that's the only way you should be thinking. Now everyone says to me, oh well, Joshua can turn it on. I'm not so sure, man. I'm really not. I'm really not sure. It's like even Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson said in the after he got beat by Buster Douglas, he said, Um, Buster fought a great fight, which is what Joshua said. But then Mike goes on to say, I'll be champion again within six months. That's it. No explaining, no, 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 nothing about, oh well, then I get to fight. Then may in six months I'll maybe fight um I'll maybe fight Buster, and then the belts will go in the air. No, I will be champion again within six months. Now, we can all sit here and Super Joshua fans will say to me, oh, well, they're only words. But I believe words, they, the words from a particular person, they come out of your brain. And your brain is what you think with, obviously. So, if, if the words you're fixing your mouth to say are quite neutral and just not positive enough, just not aggressive enough, yeah, but it's not as if you can say, oh, well, it was a wicked fight and Ruiz came out the bat and better man and it was 50-50. It was an, it was an embarrassing performance on all counts. How the fight finished was embarrassing. The fight in general was embarrassing. The way you walked in with a low lead hand and got caught was embarrassing. Yeah, this is the facts of the situation here. It was embarrassing. I, I'm not sure. E Super AJ fans say, "Oh well, it's only one loss." No, it's not about just one loss. It wasn't just one loss. It was the way. It was the way the loss happened. There should be no smiles. Listen, I, I was never in a physical sport. I never had a man physically emasculate me. Essentially, I was in a random any other sport like running or swimming, or it was swimming. That's what I used to do. So I felt when I used to get beat, I'd feel. I'd feel. I'd feel hatred in that sense. I'd feel vexed, mad, angry. And that wasn't another man embarrassing me in front of millions of people, physically speaking. A little fat dude. So I just don't feel there's no laughing there's no laughing matter about it. There really ain't. At this point. And not that he's laughing in this particular example, I just feel that I want him to be filled with confidence. Now we there is been some talks of him having some SAS, or what do they call them? What are the US guys? Some US Marines coming in for psychology. Now, I'm going to do a video on that in its own right, but whatever. That, that there is not a great sign. 
And I'm not, I thought it was LDBC talking rubbish, and maybe it is, I really haven't looked into it, because I didn't hear much on the subject. But, to get your mind right, you got to start, it comes from yourself, that's one thing I've learnt. All these psychologists and psychiatrists and whatever, they can all, they, all they can do is, all they can do is talk. Ultimately, it has to come from yourself. And I believe one way you can start doing it, if, if you talk it enough, you start to believe it. Look at McGregor, look at Matap Muck Tapper. Muck Tapper is one of the greatest guys at talking himself into belief. Now, when he gets in the ring, he bottles it the same way, but that initial belief, that initial belief is what can get you, gets you halfway there. And I think Joshua should start, not, not, not just for my entertainment, I think Joshua should start speaking it to, to believe it. None, none, of this, none of this neutral stuff anymore, none of this being polite. And I'm not sure who really wants to hear that at this point. It was all really good. When Joshua was winning in devastating fashion, in fact, scrap devastating fashion, when Joshua was just out and out winning, if you want to be neutral, if you want to be PC, that's great. But at this point now, I'm not even sure. People say, oh, well, he does it for the kids. Oh, well, he does it for the, the average Joe. No, I'm not even sure the average Joe wants to hear that crap no more. We want to, the average Joe can appreciate you've lost and you're, you're under the cosh now. You're under the pressure. And I think we should start seeing some of that pressure building up. That's what I want to see. I want to start seeing some venom. That dude took, took just jacked man up like it was nothing. The, then it's madness. He took you. He took. He wh he whooped you around the place. Yeah, took your belts, and then you're hugging him and smiling after. I'm not someone. On a serious note, I'm genuinely intrigued. Can someone explain to me in the comments below? Can someone justify that? Hugging him and oh well, I've got to be. And then Eddie Hearn said, oh well, it's because Joshua feels like he has to do that for the public. He has to put on a good face. No, he doesn't. I don't. I, I don't want to see that. Does anyone in the public, genuinely, even this, you Super AJ fans, did you, did you want to see that? What would you rather have seen? Him there smiling and acting all happy? No, I want to see a bit of I want to see a bit of emotion. And I don't care what Eddie Hearn says. Eddie Hearn's an insider with Joshua. And, and Eddie Hearn said he went over to the house after the fight. And he wasn't sure what he was going to see. But he was happy to see that AJ was vexed and whatnot. But I'm thinking, you're an insider, so surely you, you should kind of know Joshua's character. But that tells me that even Eddie Hearn was unsure to an extent because surely he should have surely you should know the person you've been with him for 10 years you should know him by now but the fact that Eddie Hearn wasn't sure until he got there tells me that everyone's a bit damn confused at this I want to see the venom I want to see the hatred and it doesn't have to be I'm not talking about eternal hatred I'm talking about until you get them belts back. There should be no uncertainty. There should be no neutralness. I don't want to hear nothing more about, oh, well, the belts go in the air and... Uh, no. In Bottom line is, and either we... So the thing is, even if you lose, what have you lost? You've lost nothing anyway. But the bottom, going forward, your mentality should be, Ruiz has the belts for six months. Enjoy them, punk. Enjoy all this fame I've blessed you with. Because in six months, I'll take it all away. Listen, bottom line, Ruiz, yeah? AJ has blessed you with clout just so he can take it back for himself. That's how it works. Uh, bottom line is, what we do know is, Wilder and Fury wanted no problems with Joshua. That's it. So Joshua thought, you know what? I need to make some USA clout. I know what I'll do. I'll give this chump, this little fat dude, I'll give this guy some clout. And then I'm going to take it and double it and absorb it. I'm going to... This, this little Margin Boo dude, I'm going to give him some clout, I'm going to endow him some clout, I'm going to bless him with some clout, and then after, in six months time, I'm going to absorb it, and my own, and become a whole different entity myself. That's the mentality you should be thinking, that's, that's what we should be hearing now. None of this, and this, I, I was going to do a video on it, and I might do it, I might, probably won't, but, AJ today met the Prince Charles, or whatever his damn name is, Prince Harry, one of them goons. Listen, in my opinion, these next six months... This is something that Conor McGregor said as well. Conor McGregor said, after the first Nate Diaz loss, well, only Nate Diaz loss, he said, listen, I've got to go away. I can't be doing all the media. I can't be doing with all the people. For the next six months, I've got to concentrate on myself. And I feel Joshua should be doing some of that. Yeah, two weeks after the loss, I know... Well, I'm not going to justify it. Two weeks after the loss, I don't believe now... You do, I don't believe... The kids can wait. Six months ain't going to hurt the kids. Yeah? What will hurt the kids, though, is in six months' time, if you, if for whatever reason, you get whooped again. That's what's going to hurt the kids in the long run. Because if you get whooped again, not being funny, your legacy's shot. That's it. 
There's no cutting. There's no two ways about it. It's not as if you've lost to Deontay Wilder twice. This dude, like like Bob Aaron said, this dude's got no power. There's a reason. There's a reason he's got a 60% knockout ratio, and everyone's gassing him up, saying how oh, great he is. He was average. Ruiz was average. Joshua was zero out of ten. Yeah, Ruiz really isn't that much special. He's really not. He won the fight, no doubt. But it's like just because you beat beat someone, don't mean you had an amazing performance. It don't mean you outperformed yourself. Simple. And that's like I say. Ultimately. If you have to sack off some of these charity events for six months to get the win, that's what you need to do, in my opinion. Because it's going to hurt the kids and everyone else a lot more if if if, if it don't work out in six months' time. Because then you, you're done at that point. There's no more. There's no more gravy train. There's no more legacy. In my opinion, at least. So, they're my words. I want the venom, and I'm going to keep saying it until we get some. Maybe we, maybe we never will get any, but I feel someone's got to be doing it. I I can't sit here and see these things and what, what do you want me to say? Oh yeah, let me keep being, embracing it because let's 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 think of this for a second. Let's say in in six months' time, or for the next six months, Joshua keeps talking hashtag moist and keeps saying, oh yeah, well, oh yeah, jo um, Ruiz and yeah, Ruiz, oh the belts go in the air and oh yeah, he has to defend his title against me and all this neutral stuff and he gets beat. <laughs> You know what I mean? I want to hear some, at least for the next six months, at least we get some talk out of it. And then you get beat, and then we, you know what I mean? We can move on. But for the next six months, I want to start seeing some, some, I want him to, I want him to care. And I want to see that. I don't care what people say, oh, well, he's, he's doing it for the public. Oh, he's being humble. No, we don't want it, the public, the public don't want to see that now. That was, if you wanted to put an act on, when you was winning, that's fine. Now it's not fine. We don't want to see that crap. Or I don't, at least. I want to see... How you're feeling, because that's how a lot of us feel. Simple. So, so wait there. So, why should we be angry? Why should we be vexed? Why should we be hurting? But then this dude smiling on the camera and playing with the kids. Nah, don't rate that myself.